part of one day, some of the blitzed areas of London became a battlefield for a home guard exercise. The men engaged in the operation were just a few drawn from the LNER, LMS and GPO units. Important areas were barricaded with tank traps while officers of the regular army arrived to act as umpires. Defenders were wearing field service caps to distinguish them from the attackers who wore steel helmets. And now the show is ready to start. All right, gentlemen, we'll now move off. You'll take up the positions. Winter's blitzers on the capital have left behind plenty of natural cover and breastworks. These will help the defence and make the work of the attackers more difficult and much more dangerous. But attack and defence get mixed in modern war and it's good training for both sides. They didn't forget a gas attack. Part of the exercise was carried out in respirators. And here's the first wave of the attack. Of course, you know what happens if you don't test your gas mask. Gas over. There's another attack on the way. All right, let them have it. There's still plenty of use for a bayonet. did this thing thoroughly, even to the point of having the Red Cross at work on the spot. Unfortunately, in mock war, the wounded get the best of it. The dead men only get an X on the back, and it doesn't mean a kiss. Signalers are busy now. That means another attack is coming up. It's realistic. It's what Mr. Churchill meant when he said we should fight on the beaches and in the hills and in the streets. And we shall, too. The lucky ones, then, will be the fighting services and the home guard. Can you imagine anything more galling than seeing Nazis in your street or your village and having no weapon to kill them with? Now for the mopping up. Just rehearsal, it looks as though Jerry's going to get rough treatment when the Navy and the Air Force have done with him. Well, that suits all of us. 